I'm back with another DIY fidget. So what you're gonna need for this fidget, I'm making a water snake. You are gonna need a plastic bag. You are going to need scissors. We're going to need tape. And um, I will be coloring my water green. And so here, I need paper. I've already started coloring that, so you don't have to wait a long time for me to color that. So let's get on with the video. Um, so you're gonna get your plastic bag. And you're gonna fill it with water. I've already filled mine with water, and about like this much water will do. I only filled it with water. I only colored half of this in, filled it with water before, so you didn't have to wait and watch me do this. So I'm gonna get my piece of paper and color the rest of this in really quickly um, and then use the dark green and I am using these Crayola textures and they are washable so I'm going to get my piece of paper get my plastic bag and I'm just going to get the paper and put it in the plastic bag like that and then just gonna get the area um to be honest it's actually turning out a really nice green It's slowly fading all of it out. I think I'm pretty happy with that green. So I'm just gonna take the paper out now. Eh, I dropped a little bit. If your paper does just like completely rip while it's in there, just like completely just rips a lot, and it's like just a bunch of little tiny little pieces, you can just leave it in there. You don't even have to colour your water if you don't want to. Um, now I'm going to put this glitter in it. So I just put my glitter in and just you go like that, get the air out, just zip it up. I would prefer to leave a little gap at the end, so if there is any excess air in there at all, you can just go like that, and you only have to do that little bit up, and you can still hold it like that so now all the air is out of my bag and so I am going to get my tape it's loud really loud um and instead of cutting off that bit of tape and wasting it I'm just gonna unfold it um let me think okay so I'm just gonna flip my bag upside down and I'm just gonna cut a bit of tape. And then I'm just gonna put the tape on there so I don't lose. It does look pretty crumbled, but I can just unfold it instead of wasting tape. Good tape expensive. And I, when I'm making fidgets, I love, I like to use the big thick tape instead of the little mini tape, because the little mini tape just takes too long doing all those little strands. And if you use the big thick tape, it only takes a one or two pieces. So 
I probably will do only two pieces, at, like for the for now. So uh, I just tape my pieces on like that, and then you're gonna like. I haven't had any practice with this. I don't have any horn snakes, anything like that at all. Uh, you're just gonna wanna like try and fold it into that position. If you understand what I'm saying. No, I started folding, folding it the wrong way. And then we're just gonna do the tape up. I'd say to do it a little loose but then also really tight. Gonna tape it like that, and then there you have it a DIY water snake, and it's actually like a real water snake. Um, yeah, it's a bit sticky where the tape is that I didn't fold this down properly. I'm folding it down properly now, so there you have it a DIY water snake. It doesn't like roll in and stuff as a real water snake does. But it's pretty similar, to be honest. Don't squish it. But can't squish it too much or it explode. Um, and again, the glitter and the colouring was optional. And I am going to add one more little bit of tape because my parents are freaks for stuff leaking and ugh. So I'm just going to add one more little bit of tape. into the middle of the water snake. I believe that is what they're called, water snakes. Comment down below if that's what they're called because I'm not too sure. Let's do that up. And there you have it, your very own DIY water snake. I hope you enjoy this video um, and yeah have fun with your water snake and I will see you next time bye guys